By the way, this was highly, highly recommended in the comment section. And shout out to the person who, you know, who, you know, was banning this. Because I said, yeah, they, they commented this joint and this shit got added like, so it's like, okay, this must be some really, really crazy, crazy. Man, shit. I ain't ready for this shit, right? Hey, the way they're talking about that shit in the comment section was like, bro, y'all watch this, you're going to lose your mind. But so I'm like, I don't lose my mind. I'm not ready for this, but we're going to find out today. So we're going to get straight to this video, man. Let's do this shit. I need to apologize for it. I'm gonna turn the light down. Yeah. from the YouTube channel Signs and Signals goes to investigate a local church in Chester, South Carolina, along with his nephew, Eli. The church was built in the late 1800s, and David says that in the early 1900s, ritualistic ceremonies were held on church grounds. He says that many of the people who attend the church claim to have witnessed strange shadow figures and objects moving around on their own. As David and his nephew Eli are exploring the dark rooms and hallways of the creepy building, they begin to ask any supernatural being or entity that might be present to give them a sign. To their surprise, something seems to respond. If there's a presence here, could you make yourself known? Yes, nigga! It didn't scare me. I remember the elementary school too. Yeah. Ain't you trying to sit in one of them holes now? Bro? Dude. Is it the yeah. Yeah. Oh. This nigga ugly shit. Some damn. Yeah, that's all. Oh. What's your going to be Yeah, my friend. Oh. We just check everywhere. Yeah. You got so subtle. I'm just right. Old old places creep, not play pianos. Can you play that shit again, nigga? David and Eli are shocked when they hear the sound of the piano coming from the main hall in the church. They immediately go to check the piano. But no one there. They ask the spirit to give them a sign and play the piano again. Come on, just play the piano one more time for me. What was that? This time they hear the creaking of a door and when they go to check it out, they find that a small storage closet has opened on its own. Also, even though they don't notice it at the time, a chair they filmed earlier has now turned around without explanation. David and Eli decide to sit in the back of the main hall to keep an eye on the piano. That? That's when they capture something downright chilling. Did you used to play piano here? We would love to hear you play again. Did you see that? something peeking out at them from a room at the front of the church. Not once, but twice. David says that he was completely unaware of the shadow figure until he looked back at his footage later. As the two guys head into the back room to investigate the same location where they captured the peeking figure, they hear some strange noises. And without even knowing, they capture this. Did you see it? As they pan across the room with their camera, some dark shape seems to be standing near the back of the room, just watching them. 
Now, David didn't even mention this capture, and it wasn't reported in the video comments. I just happened to notice this figure while I was closely watching the video for this week's top five. So did they capture real paranormal activity in the church? Or is it just an elaborate hoax? You decide. But if the video is a hoax, why not mention the creepy shadow figure in the back of the church? Let me know what you think. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The party's over. Facebook user Mario Lara was very excited when he opened his very own party and event store in Guadalajara, Mexico. However, soon after moving in, strange events started to take place inside the store. Like, I, I was hearing some scary shit about them, uh, them goddamn, um, the piñatas, bro. Yeah. I heard some, like, there's, like, some evil, like, lore behind that shit, bro. The piñata? Like, the, yeah, the, the history piñata. behind it? Yeah. Oh, That's crazy. Mario claims that one of the piñata dolls that they sell at the store frequently falls over and even seems to move on its own. After continuous unexplained activity, Mario decides to lock the piñata in the store's restroom and broadcast it live on Facebook. Sea este, este diabólica o qué onda, pero esa piñata siempre amanece tirada. Es lo que es raro, pero lo raro es de que otra vez hoy amaneció tirada, porque esta piñata yo la dejé parada, la dejé. Te voy a levantar. La dejé así. Yo la dejé así. La dejé encerrada. Pues yo la dejo así. La dejo así. Y, 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 y o sea, siempre que la hemos dejado acá, siempre que la hemos dejado acá, este, sale y vuelve, y vuelve a aparecer eh, siempre tirada. After leaving the piñata in the restroom for a while, he returns to check up on it. How the fuck you fall sideways like that, girl? That's crazy. She said my feet hurt, nigga. She said my feet hurt, nigga. This... The piel, just as he claims on his Facebook, the piñata falls to the restroom floor. Now, of course, this can simply be gravity at work and is certainly not evidence of anything supernatural. But then things start to get truly bizarre. Late one night, Mario receives an alert from one of the store's security cameras that movement has been detected inside the store. Fearing an intruder, he immediately checks the CCTV footage. He is shocked by what he finds. What's up with that bitch? Oh, the Bro, what the fuck? One of the piñatas that's hanging from the ceiling suddenly starts to move and then just violently spins out of control like before that. finally slowing to a halt. Cut to another day at the store and security footage shows one of Mario's workers busy stocking the shelves when something very odd happens. is launched off a shelf towards the worker, sending her screaming and running in fear. Another night, and Mario receives a late alert from his security cameras that, once again, there is movement in his store. When he checks the CCTV footage, 
he finds something truly terrifying. Inside the house. 
It did not go well. That was going on the whole time. I thought know? he was the one hit doing that. No, that's cap, nigga. This, this shit gotta be fake. No, how the fuck you not hear that shit? No, it should be like that sometimes. That's like, you know how, like, cameras sometimes there's some things that camera can see that human eyes cannot see. It's just the same way as, like, some things that audio can't But, but that sound was loud. Yeah, it was it loud. Was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was even echoing. It was echoing. That's why I don't understand what the fuck. How the fuck you not hear. Nigga, if it's echoing, that means it's sound, the sound is traveling. So how the fuck you not hear that shit? <laughs> that shit was loud as fuck. Only able to travel through the the, the radio. But it was wave. echoing. That means that the room itself, like the sound, was traveling through the room. I thought it was coming from the park well, through the other house, like parts of the house. Nigga, there was ever go back, bro. You can listen to you. You, listen, like you can hear it iron. echoing. Some pipes mix now. Like, yeah, it noise, makes noise noise like, like a, it's like if it's too old or something. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, what the fuck is that? Listen, you can hear it echoing. He only discovered it later when reviewing his vid. He didn't moan. There's no moan. Yeah, it's it's, 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 it's literally echoing. sounds like someone moaning can be heard in the bathroom but Adi's friend claims that at the time he didn't hear the creepy moaning at all mm. he only discovered it later when reviewing his video footage then out of nowhere something heavy violently slams into Adi's friend nearly knocking the camera out of his hand he flees the residence and hasn't gone back since Shit, so that. did he capture real paranormal activity on camera or what just what was that noise that shit was, you decide. That was that was you can check out more of Adi's creepy videos and strange stories over on his YouTube channel, Obsolete Oddity. Shadows. Now, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you might recognize Kent Burris from the YouTube channel Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. Kent claims that his house in Carmel, Maine is actively haunted and that he has been experiencing frequent paranormal activity from the day he moved into his home. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh, I think we've seen this! There he is, in the window again. We've seen this shit! We've got to remember that shit! Oh, fuck! Oh, How do you remember that shit? How do you remember that shit? Bro, I, I remember, remember that shit. this shit, bro. This ass nigga, man. I remember Is this shit. Is that a naked black man, nigga? Man, I gotta walk this shit out. That shit scared <laughs> the fuck out of me, man. Fuck. Damn! Ah! Uh. <laughs> Bro, I think I we, I think we all reacted to it when we, when we was like I was five. 
bro. I remember this I shit, bro. I don't remember bro. that shit. As soon as I saw the curtain, bro, I was like, yes. No, I remember that shit. No, I watched that shit. Bro, Nigga, I, I, bro, I remember shit. we lost our shit that day, bro. <laughs> Nigga. Yo. Nigga, bro, we was like, what the fuck? I think I remember some. I, I think I remember it, but I'm not sure. It, it was it was a long time ago, bro. It was a long. It was probably one of our one of our most viewed videos back then or scary video, bro. This shit traumatized the fuck out of all of us, bro. When we saw that shit, I, I, bro, I remember shit. this shit so perfectly, bro. Yo, run that back, bro. No, bro. that shit. That said, shit. Because I, I remember like that we was also talking me, about bro. how like. This shit has been going on in that house, and this nigga still lives there, bro. Yeah, he a different breed. Like, no. fuck that, bro. Oh, but that was yeah. As soon as I yeah. saw that window, yeah, that nigga motherfucker was chilling. Okay, chillin'. there he is in the window again. Kent discovered that his house was once owned by an undertaker and that the residence served as a funeral home from 1906 to 1919. I'm gonna lie, that's scary. Oh, yeah! I know that! I remember that shit! Nigga! <laughs> what the fuck? He believes that the Yo, home is haunted by cat, multiple bro. ghosts and strange shadow what? figures from the house's tragic past. Now, over the years, we featured supernatural captures from the Ghosts of Carmel main YouTube channel that range from the strange to the downright terrifying. And these two new occurrences may be some of the most disturbing captures yet. Kent is filming in his upstairs bedroom, casually panning around the room, when he unknowingly captures something absolutely chilling. This goes scary as shit. Did you see it? Yeah, I saw it. Slow down, you can see what appears to be a dark figure staring at Kent from behind a wardrobe in the corner. Now, what's especially strange about this clip is that this particular wardrobe is only an inch and a half away from the wall. So it would be absolutely impossible for someone to have been standing behind there. In another recent video, Kent is doing an EVP bro, session in the house's sick, basement and his night vision camera captures sick, something bro. truly bizarre. Is it in this area? Is it under the house? Or is it just the whole house? Whoa. What the hell was that? <laughs> is it in this area? Is it under the house? Or is it just the whole house? Whoa. What the the hell was that? <laughs> a strange dark shape can be seen quickly darting into the basement's crawl space. Nigga, but you know you see claims that he's seen these quick shadows move across what? his home before, <laughs> yeah, that's but it's found like, yeah, it almost that. impossible to capture yeah, them that. on camera. <laughs> when he reviews his footage later, he is shocked to see what else he has captured. Before he set up his video equipment in the basement, he took about 30 photos of the area all in the hopes of capturing something that couldn't be seen with the naked eye. One of the shocking pictures shows what looks like a strange malformed face staring back at Kent from the same basement crawl space. So, what do you think? Is Kent's home haunted by multiple dark entities? Or is something else going on in this home? You can check out all of the evidence that he has captured over the years over on his YouTube channel, Ghost of Carmel. Look at the Dipping, bitch. Which one y'all think is more scary? It's this or that nigga that charged against the fucking ghost that saw in the closet? Oh, <laughs> Wait, is that why he charged against the ghost? Yeah, you remember yeah, that? Yeah, the nigga he tried to reach out her. He was like, he was trying to grab the fucking. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that shit. I feel like this is more scary, bro. Nah, but like in my opinion, bro, I feel like this nah, one is. I'm not gonna lie, this is probably. Nah, this. I thought that the last job before this was gonna be the scariest one I've watched. Cause that yeah. shit was insanely yeah, that scary, was insane. nigga. But this one right here, that one fucked me up. Bro, that motherfucker, motherfucker crawled in that bit like a spider. And then they dropped down, like, bro. If I seen that <laughs> shit, nigga, I'm oh running. shit, but bro, nigga, I'm I'm charging bro. out of the house because nigga, the fact that the way that motherfucker dropped, it look like he's dropping, he's trying to come up. Yeah, and, like he's trying to come under the bed. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, nigga, yeah, nigga, bro. Like, nigga, I my feet, yeah, I'm out there, bro. The feet, I would have kicked, bro. Bro, I'm hot. Bro, that, man, shit, bro. that shit fucked me up. I said I'm hot right now, bro. Nigga, bro, shit, bro, I don't know how that nigga stood there when that motherfucker crawled under the bed like that. That shit actually changed my whole And that's another part where the motherfucker was literally sitting on the other side of the bed looking at that nigga, bro. Nigga, I ain't gonna lie. If he's still alive, nigga, at this point, the, the ghost is fucking with your ass, nigga. That nigga crawled down that motherfucker like Spider-Man. 
Bro, I see sh- why this was highly good. recommended, bro. I see why this was highly recommended. I don't fucking know what the fuck they... No. I think y'all, y'all like insane. ghost videos. Like, when it's like ghost bro, shit, y'all enjoy that type of shit. I ain't gonna lie. I never, I never felt more tempted to cover my fucking eyes up, bro. That shit actually fucked my mood up, bro. Like, but it felt like that ghost went inside of me, bro. Like, that's what that shit felt like, bro. I already know what I'm about to title this shit. I'm about to... This fuck this up. <laughs> this, that's how I... Oh, like, this one shit, F this up. I ain't gonna lie, I've never... Yeah, this is probably the most one that we've seen that was, like, crazy-ass, like, yes, shit bro. going on. Like, I ain't never seen those, this amount of shit going bro, on that's like this. Been shit, bro. That's crazy. Did you see it? No, because no, I didn't. Now, I like to think I have a good eye for spotting the... I ain't gonna lie, number one is, like... What? How many minutes is that? God damn, bro. This shit about to be seen. Creepy crawly things hiding in the shadows of all the videos that we feature. But sometimes I just miss something. Luckily, some of you guys have an even sharper eye than me. So these next videos feature some very creepy things from previous videos that either need more explanation or I just didn't see it. Just last week, we followed the story of a TikTok user known as Joshua Luck, who claims that his home, along with the general store he runs from his house's first floor, is intensely haunted. Joshua and his distraught family have been tormented by many terrifying paranormal occurrences. And in one of the videos recorded late at night downstairs in their general store, a creepy face appears right before the video cuts off. Now, this is where messages, emails, and comments came flooding in. Because many of you saw something really creepy that I didn't. Hey dude, just a quick heads up. In your last video with the... the man who owns the convenience store in Mexico uh, there's two times that the that ghost of the kid or whatever it is pops up actually in the convenience store hey Luke my name is Lugin Barrera and I am Ricky Velasquez's cousin <laughs> I want to point out that I don't know if you got to notice it but right here there's nothing there but then somebody peeks all right, Nuke, so I wanted to send this in. This is all your most recent video, number nine. Hey, Nuke, my husband and I are huge fans. Um, we were watching your video that you uploaded today on November 2nd, 2020. Nuke, you forgot something. Look, 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 look. Look at this. Bottom left-hand side. A little girl pops out. Dress it. Do you see it? Disappears. Up there. Right there. Slowly disappears. I didn't see it. Joshua Luck and his family didn't see it. But you did. A face that appears to be that of a young child can be seen not once, but twice. All the way at the front of the store, looking right at the family. Now, honestly, I'm a little shocked that I didn't notice this one. But thankfully, you guys did see it, and you let me know. So, a huge thanks to you. But, is it something paranormal? You decide. On August 24th, I featured the story of TikTok user Saleya Ileana, who was hanging out in the attic with her friend when something absolutely terrifies them. Okay. Stop! shows up in the video only moments after the door mysteriously swings open. Hey Nuke, so I uh, was watching the video and I've noticed that when the girl turns her camera around there's a black figure that yeah, shoots right by. I think I'm pouncing 
He looks in, point out what? That's it. You see that? You see that black thing I just want to An unexplained dark shadow seems to pass right in front of the camera. Could this be the evil entity that many TikTok viewers believe is responsible for the strange occurrences in Soleil's attic? Or is it something that can be more easily explained? Now, at first I thought it could simply be a finger accidentally sliding across the phone's camera lens. But the odd dark shape seems to grow in size before moving away to the right. You guys spotted it, I didn't, and it's still unexplained. So what do you think? The Woodchester Mansion in Gloucestershire, England has long been believed to be violently haunted after it was mysteriously abandoned by frightened workers during its construction almost 150 years ago. Back on October 19th, we looked at the bizarre footage ghost hunter Mark Pritchard and his team captured as they were exploring the mysterious mansion. One of the group's investigators, Joanne, gets the scare of a lifetime inside the dark mansion. And it's all captured on camera. It's all right. It's all right. Oh, yeah. That just that that narrowly narrow you missed it, didn't it? Mm. Oh, that came from up there. That, that was. Oh, you're all right. Yeah. That's frightened me. You're all right. Man, Joanne is nearly hit by what here, appears man. to be a heavy I'm piece of about, roof tile. Or I'm telling you, by all these niggas that be exploring these shit, bro. If you're not body, nigga, don't do it, nigga. You come, ah, ah, nigga. Bro, what don't, do you expect, bro? Don't go, nigga. You gotta be a tough nigga if you're gonna do this shit. Nigga, you gotta be a tough nigga. You gotta be rough, nigga. Nigga, you gotta, you gotta, be, you, gotta you gotta be a ghost, nigga, nigga, to live that ghost life. You gotta be up the yo. I see a ghost, I'm gonna chase that shit. That's how you, you gonna be doing this death, type of nigga. that shit. You chasing death. How you gonna know, oh, this place is haunted and you not gonna get fucking scared. Nigga, you gonna be fucking scared. Nigga, but if you say, oh, it's fucking haunted, I'm gonna go over there. Nigga, you gotta be tough, nigga. And if you see a ghost, you better chase that motherfucker. You gotta be one mother. Don't come over here and be fuck crying and hey, shit. Don't be crying, nigga. You the one that woke up and said, <laughs> I'm gonna be a ghostbuster today. <laughs> You're the one that now said that, nigga. Like busting your shit. I'm it. Now you want to be scared, nigga. Hold on, bro. Stone. But if that wasn't creepy enough, many of you spotted something very run. strange right after Don't the terrifying down. event takes place. So you missed something that'll be in the top, like right around there when they pan the camera. King in the something rafters. Goes down, right there. Just Up the boat. Oh, shit. And then it goes down. Take a close look. And then again, when you go back. You can kind of see the thing. What's up, right there. Goes up. Just above the unsuspecting group, a strange shadow can be seen. Now, the reason I didn't point this out in the original video is that I believe that the shadow might be created by one of the other investigators' yeah, flashlights. However, many viewers pointed the shadow out as possibly being something paranormal. So, as always, nah. I will leave that up to you nah. to decide. Hell no. Because the way it moves. Now, this next video by the popular Mexican YouTube Urbex channel, okay. Terror Alex Dreamo, was featured on August 24th, and I've gotten hundreds of questions and comments about it since. The Terror Alex Dreamo crew explored the abandoned Gonzalo Castanado Hospital in Mexico City. During their exploration, they witness and capture some extremely creepy activity in the dark hallways and rooms <laughs> of the hospital. Scared, right? In this part of the video, <laughs> Lewis and cameraman Yanni are discussing the garbage and litter strewn around the abandoned room. And then, this happens. Some dark figure seems to pass a doorway behind one of the explorers twice that could be without him knowing. Shit. But that's not all. I did see it, but I thought Many of you have reached out to me about something that happens only moments earlier. Yo, Noop, you like it, my boy. You ain't peeping. <laughs> This part. Yeah, so I was watching Nuke Top 5's newest video, and 
I realized that he missed something. My name is Jules. Thank you so much for the videos that you are uploading every week. Uh, shout out to the Filipinos, Filipino fans of yours. I just want to pin out uh, a clip. I'm watching the video no clip about, about three days ago and I think he missed something. Just watch it. I think you may have missed something in this video. Look in the background after he paints the camera over here. You can see someone walk by. See? That, right, right there. Did you see this move? Did you see this right now? Did you see this? Right there, right there. You see that? It's so creepy, man. See a whole person. So at least on this one, I can say that I definitely was not caught lacking. <laughs> this video is 100% explainable, which is why I didn't point it out in my original video. Yeah, like you see, the abandoned Gonzalo Castanado Hospital is located right in the downtown streets right. of Mexico City. In fact, right across the street from the broken down hospital, there are buildings that are still being used as offices and apartments. So I'm thinking that someone across the way just happened to be walking around their office at the exact moment that the camera pans by the window. But having said that, I can't possibly spot all the creepy crawly stuff hidden in all of the videos. So if you happen to catch something in a video that I didn't see, Point it out in a video response and send it to nukestop5 at gmail.com because I actually do love it when you guys find some little creepy something in a video that I missed. Thanks for watching, by the way, last week's video, which was a super creepy 30 minute long top 10, for some reason was just not really promoted by YouTube. So if you haven't seen it and you might not have, be sure to check it out at the link above. I'll oh see you next God, week. Oh my God, ugly shit. Fuck that. Why are they up? No, man? this episode is beyond, like, beyond. Man, this shit fucked me up, man. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Joe. I don't like this episode right here, man. This is crazy. Yeah, I'm bro. done with this shit. Get out of this. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's it for this video, here. man. Yeah, Let's know your opinion nice. about this video, man. Like, when y'all saw this, bro, because y'all recommended this, so definitely you guys already seen it. And what do you, what, what was y'all intake on at the moment y'all saw this shit? Oh, man. The first thing y'all thought was, oh, TDS got to see this shit and get fucked up. Like, is that the, your first thought? Because that's fucked up. Yeah, that's some fucked up shit, man. I ain't gonna lie, the one of the video before, this is actually a little creepy as fuck. Where that shit can drop on the window? Yeah, and the fucking yeah, ladies, they look like a fucking, a fucking mailbox, dude. <laughs> that shit was like these. That shit like, that shit like the fucking eyeball. Oh man, hey man, well that's it for this video man, we hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah, y'all go ahead, keep dropping that recommendation, whichever one you guys think, it's the best one that you guys ever seen that you know, where we see that shit, we might lose our shit, bro. But yeah, drop it's that shit in the conversation. Working, bro. Cause I feel like this is definitely one of the best ones so far. That How old is this seen. shit? This is probably this like, is like year. three years old. Three years? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, we probably watched this shit. Yeah, no, no, I, no I don't think we watched this specific video. This. I just know we've seen that, that one other video, bro. Yeah. Cause if not, then every other video would have made sense to me. None of the rest of them video made sense to me, bro. Yeah, Only I, that I one part, bro, that I know, okay. We seen that. I do remember that that part. Yeah, where the ghost fell out the window, bro. But everything else, I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, but that shit fucked me up. Seeing that shit a little freaking bright. Fuck that shit. Hey, man, well, that's it for this video, man. We hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you're new. God loves you. God bless you. And we'll see you out of here.